The city of Atlanta is breathing easier tonight after the capture of the suspect in yesterday's mass shooting that killed one person and injured four others inside a medical center. CBS's Jeff Begay's reports on how new technology helped police track down the suspect. This is the end of the eight-hour manhunt. The alleged gunman in handcuffs being escorted to jail, surrounded by police. 24-year-old Dion Patterson was charged with four counts of aggravated assault and one count of murder. Investigators say that he is responsible for a shooting rampage that seriously injured four women ranging in age from 25 to 71 and the murder of Amy St. Pierre. Thank you for joining us. Seen here in this video making a presentation. The wife and mother of two worked at the CDC on the issue of maternal mortality. She worked every day to save lives of mothers and infants. St. Pierre, along with the other victims, was inside Northside Hospital Medical Building when the gunman opened fire in a waiting room. His mother, who'd accompanied him to an appointment, told the Associated Press the former member of the Coast Guard was seeking help for anxiety and depression, but didn't get the medication he wanted. Through tears, she said... Those families lost their loved ones because he had a mental break because they wouldn't listen to me. Last night, police took Patterson into custody in a creek northwest of Atlanta after they say he carjacked a vehicle. Surveillance cameras and license plate readers along the way helped investigators make the arrest. Technology played a huge role, but technology doesn't do any good without people who are determined. The suspect accused in the shooting here was expected to appear in court this morning. However, he waived his right to appear. Still, he is being held without bail. Nora. Jeff Begays, thank you.